Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be guiding how to use Hacking Face models. Uh, first of all, you obviously have to create an account and as well in uh, settings, actually, re uh, wait, it might be not in settings, actually, access token, request for an access token and then you'll be able to yeah, use a different small models preferably, right, because for example, uh, deep seek where is it? Yeah, it's 671 billion parameters, so for most computers it won't work and it doesn't mind, right? So you can use smaller models to uh, do the task you want to do. I'll, I'm gonna have this uh, blog post attached below uh, just for a more uh, simpler guide. And to start it off, uh, it's good to actually use Conda inside the virtual environment because, let me go shortly. Uh, here you will most likely need Torch, CUDA and yeah, it uh, divides either to use CPU or GPU, right? So, uh, my to go shortly about my project I am, uh, wait let me just go into main depending on the individual prompt what is the price of Apple? it can be uppercase Bitcoin and for example as well weather so uh, the case is I don't want to use full-on regex I just want to use the hacking face models to help assist with me with that and for that uh, inside the models LLM EY I use these three models this one Currently doesn't work as expected, so most likely I'll have to find something else. It's basically to map if I have, for example, Apple, I want to map it to AAPL, right? So that I can uh, pass it in uh, get financial data. Anyhow, let's get started. So at first, I have Conta installed, and then, like you know, install a few packages that it will require. I won't go through that because that would take a lot of time. Uh, this, for example, is classifier. Uh, you have to install, install transformers and torch to use hacking face models. Uh, you pass in pipeline. Here I'll pass in zero shot classifier. It's based on Facebook and here I define categories, right? For it to categorize my prompt, and as well later on to pass in the right request py, right? Because obviously I have, uh, as mentioned, financial data or weather data, right? So there are some differentiation why I need to know the classifier and sometimes it can as well help with keyword extraction based on the category. So now, so as we can see here, I pass an LLM generate response. Now I'm gonna just add it here. Okay, def generate response. Let's just name it. Okay, it can be user query. I go here. Just gonna copy paste for simplicity. Uh, category. And you can see I passed in a self extract category that I don't have yet. It's going to be a really simple function. Let me just pa paste it above. So, uh, here basically uh, I defined the category, I paste it here. User queries can uh, get passed here. I invoke the self classifier, pass in the query candidate labels because this model accepts candidate labels and I pass in category, right? So now it should be able to specify, uh, for example, this one category of, yeah, so I'm gonna place an M main, let's see what I'm gonna get. As you can see, what is the price of Apple? And 
and this cl uh, self classifier was able to categorize it as, as talk. And if, for example, I pass in this one, and please note this one is a really small model, right? So, on simple, not as powerful computers, it sh should still work. Okay, see, result category is whether it was quite fast. Now let me try this one. Do you know the current price of Bitcoin and where is it heading? Stock. So we can see it works and there's basically no additional code. You didn't need to do any regex or so forth. Now let's start with keyword extracting. Well, this one was more difficult. I would like to uh, make it more simplistic as this one, but sadly I cannot for now. Uh, let me now just rephrase how I did that. Uh, Pythantics in general can be quite helpful uh, because you can define different values for it to extract and put like a validate and transform based on the field. I haven't reached that point yet, but We'll see how it goes. And now, oh, okay, let's try it like that. And now it should show two things. One thing is again the category, another thing is the keyword. Okay, stock, that was a category. Uh, where is. Uh, okay, it does show something. Pa. Um, there. It added, interestingly, some hashtags. Let me try something else with the surprise of Apple. Thank God Apple it did work. But as well, it depends how well trained the model is and how many, uh, how was it called? Uh, oh, see, this one actually found. Uh, how many, what, what is it called? how many parameters it has exactly with BTC I think it should work because we added the regex right yeah with BTC it worked obviously you could just say like extract the last one but you can have it different orders right so let me just try regarding whether Okay, it did actually it using their extracted. Uh -huh. Interesting. So here it actually did extract the validate keyword, but uh, I think validation went offshore. Let me try with this one. Maybe that was the case. Because uh, it removed one section. Okay, now it did work. Maybe actually this section was needed, even though it looks quite more or less same as this one. Uh, Kiran, where was it? Let's see if it can f match this order. Okay, it's pink and crypto as always. Okay, so there's still some work to do, but as overall you could see, this one, uh, how was it? The zero shot classification, it works seamlessly. I just had to provide the uh, categories. This one does work, but it has some uh, yeah, conditions and it can be quite lengthy. Uh, and like I added regex as well, right? And I want to abstain from regex. But overall, uh, as you can see, that using the model is quite simple. You just have to uh, work around it and uh, 
something to really consider is using Pydantics to actually flash the right fields, right? And uh, yeah, you can as, as of course do full function calls, but I didn't dig deep into this. So in general, I hope you like it, and yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.